we're in the middle of an ice storm. Figure it's a good time to test this button functionality of the Sunfun Kit's battery. This new button allows you to basically preheat your battery. So you can go ahead and turn on the heater and have it start to warm up if you know it's going to be freezing outside. That way your battery is always available. And then they also have this bag, which is their insulated battery jacket. It's a bag that the battery fits into and it's insulated. So whenever this thing is generating the heat to keep the cells from freezing, it's not all lost. It actually stays nice and toasty. So what I wanna do is I want to pre-warm the battery and then start charging it and see if we can fully charge this battery while it's freezing outside. All right, guys, so here's the app pulled up. It's showing that we are in low temp and uh, showing the BMS temp at 38.89 Fahrenheit, uh, the case temp at 31.73 Fahrenheit. So technically it is below freezing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this switch. It has five modes. So the first mode is it will heat the battery up to 68 Fahrenheit. And once it reaches 68 Fahrenheit, it'll just regulate on and off to kind of try to maintain 68. And it'll do that 24 hours a day. It, it will not stop. You'll have to manually turn this function off. Mode two does the same thing for 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Mode three does the same thing, uh, but it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure why you'd want it that hot, uh, but that uh, seems a little warmer than what you'd want. And then mode four will do, it'll regulate the temp to 75 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 hours. So after 12 hours, it'll shut off. And then mode five, it'll regulate the temperature to 75 for 24 hours and then shut off. So for me, I think I want mode one because really I think 68 degrees is warm enough and I just want it to stay on as long as until I turn it off. And if the battery does drain, because this will use power from the battery, if it does drain, then uh, the BMS will protect the battery. So it'll, it'll turn off and then this uh, will go off. So you won't actually, uh, you won't damage your cells or anything like that. So with uh, mode one on, let's see what kind of power we're pulling. All right, so we're pulling 8.2 amps to heat the battery. And interestingly, we've already got up to, <laughs> we've already got up to 32 Fahrenheit. So we, we've already got above freezing <laughs> just by, you know, just a, maybe a few minutes. But anyway, so what I want to do is let's just let it run until it gets to 68. And, you know, like then we can see how long it takes. So right now it is... 10:34 a.m. Let's let it run and see how long it takes. So we're also going to put it inside of this bag so we can keep it warm. Okay, there it is inside the battery jacket. I'm going to zip it up and we'll see how long it takes to raise the temperature here. Uh, also be noted that the battery's at 20% uh, state of charge. All right, guys, it's about 1240 right now and about 1230, I checked it and we were at like 70 degrees. So we are above the 68 degrees that the switch is supposed to regulate to. So we're a little bit higher right now. You know, I think the thermal th probe of the switch is higher up on the battery and the thermal probe for the BMS is lower, closer to the cells where the heating pads are. So I fully expect probably at some point um, this power to throttle down as the switch, you know, regulates the temperature. Yeah, it took about two hours to um, get up to temp with this. Now, of course, we could have started charging this a lot sooner, um, I, but I just wanted to see how long it would take to go from freezing to above 68 degrees and that seems to be about two hours and for us to do that 
it uh, it took a little over five percent uh, the battery to get us up to that temperature. But now that we're actually up to that temperature, we shouldn't really use that you know whole lot of battery to, to maintain as long as it's you know inside of this. And it's actually actually nice. You know, I can put my hand down in there, and the battery is nice and warm. Especially where that you know that kind of shiny material is, it's very warm. What I would like to do now is just charge the battery up. I mean, I know it's going to charge because we're well. You know, it's super cold outside right now. Let's see. You know, we're. Let's see what we got here. Twenty-seven degrees Fahrenheit out and then you know right now we're showing 74 here let's see what we got yeah 65 inside the bag yeah so let's hook this up to charge Zip it up. All right, now we're charging. Shows that we're sucking in 40 amps. And we're at 14.36% uh, state of charge. So I'm just gonna let that run and uh, we'll let that fully charge. All right, so this thing f fully charged probably a, a little over an hour ago. You can see we're at 100%. And um, we're not actually drawing any power out of it, so the heater's not uh, currently on. Uh, the buttons should are uh, should still be set to run. So if the temperature goes below a certain level, it'll come back on. Uh, our battery, we're like at 89.8 Fahrenheit, and that heat is mainly from just charging the battery. And so, it's been out here in the cold. Uh oh. I think the battery di uh, has died on my thermometer. So I don't know how cold it is out here. But uh, I know it's still freezing. <laughs> yeah, so it's just been sitting here and just st staying warm inside this bag uh, from being charged earlier. So I just kind of want to peek in here and see if the... Uh, yeah, that's still, the button is still on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the charger. And I'm just gonna leave it out here tonight. I just wanna see, I anticipate it, you know, it uh, cooling down and uh, the heater's gonna have to come back on. So I'd like to see how much power it uses. Uh, right now it's 7.30, 7.30. Um, so maybe in the morning we'll take a look at it and see what the state of charge is, how much so that we know how much power it used to keep it warm and toasty uh, throughout the night. All right, you guys. So it is now 9:51 the next morning. And so where, did, where were we at yesterday? It was like 7.30 or something like that. So this thing has maintained 70 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the night. So I guess for like 14 hours, see we're at 96.85 state of charge. So really only about uh, slightly over 3% of the battery to keep it warm. And I think that's primarily due to this battery jacket. If you've got heated batteries, you need to keep them insulated, which this does it perfectly. So let's open that up and see. Yeah, our switch is still on. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm in there. Oh yeah. Oh, and I put a new battery in my thermometer. So 64, let's see what we got on the side here. 
Oh, look at that. 73. Let's see what we got out here. Is it really only 30? Feels so much colder than that. 28. So yeah, around 30 degrees. 28, 30 degrees. Yeah, I, I really like this <laughs> these bags. Which leads me to something here is like, if you've got other batteries, if you've already got batteries, you can you can buy this bag from SunFun Kits. I'm sure they'll sell you. Actually, I know they'll sell you the bag. It's right there on their website. Uh, they also have a bag that has heaters. And so, if you don't have a heated battery already, uh, they have a bag that has this button, like, implanted on the side right here. And then they have a heating pad inside the bag, and then the heater, uh, the wires connect to your battery. And so you can have heated battery, even if you don't have um, a battery with heaters. So you like in theory, you could have one of these mega cheap batteries that doesn't have a heater or any kind of cold temp protection, <laughs> and install it you know because it's basically about the same size as a sun fun kit battery uh, it'll fit in that bag now of course the thing that I'm that I love about the sun fun kit battery is this is a 300 amp hour battery which is three times the capacity of this battery for roughly around the same size. That's, you know, if you're going, if you need higher capacity, I wouldn't go buying a bunch of these and take up a lot of room. I'd get these guys. And uh, these are built in the USA and all that kind of stuff. So I would trust uh, the warranty and everything on this guy uh, over this. But anyways, guys, uh, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I just wanted to test out this. I just wanted to test out this new feature of their battery. And so far, it's really cool. If you live in a colder climate, if you get into freezing temps frequently, uh, this is probably something that you might want to look into uh, for this kind of battery. Now, it, it already these batteries already have heating built in. So they'll, the heater will turn on if it's below freezing and you start to apply a charge. What it'll do is it'll send that charge, instead of using it to charge the battery, it'll use it to turn the heaters on. And then when the temperature rises above freezing, uh, then the charge will actually start going to the cells. So it'll do that. But uh, the nice thing about feature about this button is you can kind of just go ahead and pre-plan for your cold nights and days you just go ahead and you know, if you've watched the forecast and you're going to get some big freezes or something like that you go ahead and just turn that sucker on and you're ready you know you, your battery's not going to be draining because of the cold because the cold will suck the power out of your battery now of course this thing will use a little bit of power to warm your battery up Yep, there you go. Uh, I think that's going to be the end of the video, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.